Have y'all ever sat back and wondered why we behave the way that we do? Do you ever do something stupid and wonder why? Why did I do that? That was stupid. Why did I do that? Or have you ever been in a relationship with somebody like, what was I thinking? I wasn't thinking, that's the problem. Today's episode is about forgiveness and healing. The healing and forgiveness process and why we make decisions that we make. Stay tuned to the end because as always, there is an inspirational message that I'm gonna give at the end and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I am doing a four-part series on healing and forgiveness and what healing is, how to start your healing process, and why forgiveness is important with healing. Y'all, sometimes we make decisions in life that just don't make sense. You get with somebody and it's like, what was I thinking getting with that person? Or you do something stupid. Maybe you stole something. You slept with somebody. You slapped somebody. Um, <laughs> you know, anything. We do things sometimes not even realizing why I did that, why I made that decision, and realize later that was a stupid decision. But what people don't realize is that a lot of decisions that we make in our life stems from childhood issues. A lot of times we are raised in a single parent household. Our fathers weren't around, our mothers weren't around. We didn't receive love from either parent or we received love from one but not the other. A parent disowned us, didn't recognize us, never acknowledged us, or we were called ugly or we were called stupid or we were, we were told that we would never amount to anything in life. What are some of the things that you went through that's causing issues in your adulthood? What are some things that you're going through now that could possibly be from your childhood? Are you getting into relationships to feel like you're complete because you're in a relationship, whether you're a man or a woman? Um, were you raised in a household where one of your parents beat the other parent? One of your parents was addicted to drugs. One of your parents was addicted to sex. One of your parents was a prostitute or used as a prostitute. Um, were you in a relationship or were you in a situation where your parent was a pimp? I mean, there could be so many things that stemmed. Um, there could be so many reasons in your life that cause some of the issues in your adulthood today cause some of the addictions that you are in maybe you're addicted to sex and you have multiple multiple sex partners and you just don't feel that there's anything wrong with that whether you're a man or a woman and you're having a lot of sex partners there's a problem whether you're a man or a woman and you you have a drink every day there's a problem if you're a man or a woman and you're addicted to drugs, there's a problem. Whether you're a man or a woman and you're addicted to food and you can't stop these addictions, there's another issue that's causing these issues in your life, that's causing these addictions. There's a lot of people who suffer from depression. Why are you suffering from depression? There could be an issue that stemmed from your childhood that you aren't realizing is causing issues in your adulthood. And healing and forgiveness can really help you to get over these addictions and some of these depressions and mental illnesses that you're going through when you finally recognize what the issue and what it stems from. A lot of things stem from childhood issues. And I wrote a book called, Who Am I? And it's not released, as you can say, it's, it, as you can see, it's not for resale as of yet. But this book really helped me to understand what my issues were and what some of my issues stem from with um, choosing the wrong man in my life, choosing men that I shouldn't have been choosing, that God should have chose for me. When I, if I was living a life for God and I was waiting for God to send me the man 
that he had for me, a lot of decisions that I made in life, a lot of the bad decisions and a lot of the issues that I went through in life wouldn't have happened had I waited on God. And this book actually helped me with my healing process, writing this book, putting it down on paper and getting all of the hurts and the pains of my upbringing and not having my biological father in my life, I didn't realize was causing a lot of issues in my adulthood and my decision making with men. And so in this series of healing and forgiveness, I actually um, have this digital download will be available. I actually wrote this for my book but I'm making it available because I am doing this healing and forgiveness uh, series. So I'm gonna make this available as a digital download on my website. If you go to my website at shandeyan, S-H-A-N-D-E-Y-A-U-N.com, you can get the digital download of this forgiveness worksheet that I actually have that goes with my book that is not yet released. If you subscribe, when this book is available for sale, you will receive an email saying that the book is available for purchase. It'll be available at your Barnes and Nobles, Amazon, anywhere that books are sold. This book will be available, but please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my website so that you can receive emails when the book is actually released. If you buy it on the website, you'll get a lot of freebies, including a physical copy of this worksheet that you can actually get on download. Um, I will make it available by the next episode of Healing and Forgiveness. So this book actually explains why I do what I do at Shiny Eye, why I actually started creating my YouTube channel and why I have my episodes this book will actually go into detail of who I am and why I do what I do, why I do what I do. And it also will help you go through the different phases of forgiveness. It'll kind of give you my steps for forgiveness. So when we recognize what our issues are stem for, it'll help us to be able to heal and have healthy relationships. And that is why I'm having these healing and forgiveness episodes. So next week, I'm actually gonna have my cousin come on and she's gonna tell you about her childhood, things that she went through and how she was able to heal from her childhood issues by forgiving. The next episode after that, I'm gonna have my friend come on who is actually the best-selling author of The Bare Room Junkie. She's going to explain why she wrote the book and things that she overcame, healed from, and was able to forgive some of the people that hurt her in her past. And then after that, the fourth episode for the Healing and Forgiveness series, I'm going to have my friends Quentin and Jessica come on, and we are just going to discuss the importance of healing and forgiveness. So please come back and see me next week for episode two of the Healing and Forgiveness series, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Healing comes from taking responsibility to realize that it is you and no one else that creates your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. Let go of whatever you're overthinking. It will work itself out as it should when it's supposed to. Redirect your mental energy to what you can change now and focus on the positive in all situations. You are okay and it is all good. Your healing and growth can be an example to many. Thanks to your life experience, others may listen to what you have to say. For in you, they may see themselves. In your victory, they will find their hope. Healing doesn't mean the damage never existed. It means the damage no longer control our lives. When you can share your story in order to heal another person and you telling that story doesn't make you cry, you know then that you have healed. The hardest part in starting your healing process is learning to forgive. Since life is too short and grudges are a waste of perfect happiness, you should laugh when you can, apologize when you should, and let go of things 
that you had no control of. 